Hey folks, I'm Mitch here with Eduardo at Havana Castle in Burlington on the Lakeshore. Now, a lot of people will say this is the way to do it. There's no right way to smoke a cigar. Smoke it, enjoy it. If you like it a different way than I do, that's fine. There is, however, a right way and a wrong way to roll the cigar. Now, you and I have had conversations about counterfeit cigars, and counterfeit cigars are a huge problem, and that's yeah. why and that's why when you buy your cigars, especially Cuban cigars, you want to buy it from a, from a reputable tobacconist like Havana Castle that you know buys it from La Casa de Havana in Cuba. Now, if you look here, you have been tapping your cigar, and every few, few minutes you tap, and that's fine. I've left mine, and we've got about three quarters of an inch of ash there. If you want to see a cigar that's really well rolled, I can actually put this cigar down like this on the ash, and, well, this one's not quite balancing, but you can balance it, and that's a sign of a good cigar, or a well-rolled cigar. Now, so I'm sorry, this is not the right way to do it? There's no right way, there's no okay. wrong way. But if you are able, if you are unable to light it, you'll notice that my cigar, your cigar, even though we're a few inches in, it's still very straight around. I want to puff on that to make sure it keeps going. Even yours, which you can tap in, is straight around. Now, the reason that's important is because a sign of a counterfeit cigar is it doesn't smoke evenly. It'll smoke part way down, all the way down here and not at all up here. Oh. Now, that can be one of two things. It wasn't lit properly, and there are wrong ways to light a cigar. There's no one right way, but there's a lot of wrong ways as well. Or it's counterfeit. A real cigar, whether it's Cuban or Nicaraguan or Dominican or Honduran or American, is going to be comprised of three components. First of all, the filler leaf. And the filler leaf, unlike a cigarette, is whole leaf that is rolled up into tubes. And if we were to cut this open, which I wouldn't do right now, we would see we could pull it open and it would be one leaf. The second component is the wrapper. And the wrapper is usually a different leaf that holds it all together. And that is very important for the structural integrity of the cigar. Because once the cigar loses its structural integrity, it's going to be very hard to smoke and it's not going to be as enjoyable. The third component is the cap. And the cap is the part that goes on the end and holds the wrapper together. Now, when you're smoking a real Nicaraguan, Cuban, Dominican cigar, it will smoke straight like this. And I haven't cut this down at any point. It's perfectly strict. Now, counterfeit cigars are not made the same way. Counterfeit cigars, they will usually take seconds and broken leaf and pieces of this and that and maybe filler that's not real leaf and put that in. And be because of that, it's not going to burn evenly. And it's going to give you a different experience. It's going to give you an uneven burn. And... Ultimately, you're not getting the same bang for the buck. Now, you were just in Cuba, you told me, and you told me that on the beach you were able to buy a box of Cojiba Espendidos for $30, $35. Yeah, something like that. <coughs> I brought it for, as a present to my, my son, who understands a little bit about cigars, and he threw it to the garbage. That's right. And you know why? Because they're not enjoyable. I, I was so excited. It was Cojiba and... Uh, but it didn't work. Now, we're at Havana Castle in Burlington. If we went downstairs, now Havana Castle has really good prices on uh, on all of their cigars. And if we were to buy a mid-range Cohiba, it would probably be somewhere between 50 and $70. One cigar. One cigar. And I bought 12 or 25 bought 25 for $30. That's right. <laughs> There's no math in the world that makes those real cigars. Yeah. Now, they're going to tell you on the beach, oh, they're real, my friend, my cousin, my sister. Yeah, my they aunt. stole it from They there. stole it from the factory. No. But but they may be a, a decent smoke, and they're worth a dollar. There's a reason that these cigars are worth so much more. And if you smoke one of those, you would not say, oh, this is the best cigar. I've no, seen. I wouldn't. <laughs> now that I know, I will. From Havana Castle, I'm Mitch. This is Eduardo, and thanks for watching.